Good morning, everyone. It's Lonnie, and we are back in the shed. It is Wednesday morning. It's a shipping day, and um, I've been taking it, I would say, a little bit easy the past few days. Um, I did list... I listed... This stuff is listed right here. I listed, like, about $550 worth of stuff out of here. I'm going to list some more of this stuff today. I'm not in a huge hurry. Um, trying to ramp things down a little bit as far as that goes except i still want to get some stuff listed going nice and steady though and uh trying to fit in a few other things i want to do um i do have some things going out i already pulled this round of orders i've got like i think five or six more things besides this so we'll go through this stuff real quick and yeah it's it's makeup and jeans and one only one hot wheel at least so far anyways all right, first, uh, this is one of the few pops I still have left. Nicole Bolas, Nico Bolas from Magic the Gathering sold this pop for $17.99 plus shipping. Some makeup for $19.99, $19.99, two of these for $39.98. Sold a school, a school, like cool bus. It just looks like a stretch hummer kind of thing or something uh 29.99 for that plus shipping sold this makeup for 14.99 and then a couple of pairs of jeans this pair for 27.99 this pair for 27.99 this one's going out to brandon brandon thank you very much appreciate the business and i hope you like those jeans um also sold Makeup for $21.99, makeup for $24.99, makeup for $29.99, and makeup for $17.99. And I'm just going to call it all makeup at this point. Uh, you can read it on the screen if you want to know exactly what kind of cosmetic it is. And then last thing this round, another pair of jeans for $27.99. Okay, last little batch here uh, before I go pack my knives. Oh, I do need to check my second account. But uh, yeah, makeup for $21.99. This figure, Tom Clark basket, something or another. Oh, Gerard just bought a uh, box resizer. Thank you, Gerard. That that was that notification we just heard. Uh, but yeah, this thing sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And um, it sold on the 965th day of being listed. So just under three years <laughs> it took to sell that. Uh, sold these jeans. For $29.99, sold this makeup for $24.99, and sold these jeans for $19.99. And that is it, I think. Let me check my other account. All right, I have one more order come in. Uh, three of these makeups. I'm just going to call everything makeups for $25 a piece. These are going to Canada. Candace just laughed at me. She's over here looking through my... Uh, hey, Candace. She's over here looking through my reject pile that I'm not listing. <laughs> Seeing if she wants any of that stuff. Are you taking anything from me so far? This eyeliner. Probably this one here. It's a nice color. It's got a little glitter to it. See, that? that's disturbing the way women like try out colors on their arms and I stuff. I don't do that in the store. <laughs> Probably some of the stuff has had that done oh, in the yeah, store. Oh yeah, definitely. Anyway, these th these three are going to Canada. I've had a lot of international sales on this makeup stuff. Okay, here's everything going out, including the box knives. I think I have um, 14, 16 knives going out. And saw a bunch of international orders. So thank you all very much. <laughs> After I opened up the international ordering, uh, a bunch of y'all ordered. So let me get this stuff out to the post office and we'll tackle a few questions. All right, the uh, the release of the gopro 9 kind of snuck up on me <laughs> i just picked it up curbside here at best buy and uh yeah i'm really excited about this thing it's it has a um a selfie cam on it so i can't wait to try that out i always get the brand new one now whenever they as soon as they come out i got the eight as soon as it came out and as soon as i realized the nine was out today i'm like oh crap uh went on Best Buy's website and did the pickup. Okay, my first shot with the new cam and I can see myself in the little selfie screen. That's kind of cool. Um, and here's the old one. 
The new one is a good bit chunkier. Of course, I can't show it to you right now, but uh, yeah, this is what I'm gonna be filming with from now on. Okay, let's do a few questions. I'm trying not to look at the little screen on this camera. <laughs> uh, man, this is gonna take some getting used to. Uh, first one is from Brian, Brian Klaus. Uh, have you been going to garage yard sales as the season winds down? Haven't seen anything recent on the Garage Flips channel, including when you went to the 127 yard sale. And figured you've been swamped with your recent big buys to edit and upload stuff, but was curious if you're still on the prowl at local yard sales. And no, I haven't uploaded that footage yet or edited it or anything like that. Uh, I have been swamped up until this week, I guess. I should have probably already uh, done something with that video, but I haven't. Um, and I haven't gone to any sales local yet, but I am going to be going to some sales in Cincinnati next week for a couple days. So uh, I will have the 127 footage uploading at some point, and I'll also have footage from garage sales in Cincinnati that's uploading too. But no, I have been swamped with all this stuff. And all I've got is this little bit left right here. <laughs> But I still have it. It's been a weird, weird year. It was actually, this was actually like very fortunate for me to find all this stuff to where I didn't have to go out and actively source. It's been a real good time to not have to source. Okay, another question. Uh, this is from Joshua. And he says, do you require immediate payment? Gotta love when an expensive item sells and sits in a waiting payment for too long. Um, I typically do not require immediate payment. And the reason I don't is because if someone buys something and doesn't pay for it, and then they buy something else and buy something else, then I have the opportunity, if they wait, I have the opportunity to actually go in, send an invoice, combine the shipping form, whatever. But um, yeah, I don't, I, I tell you what, I don't require immediate payment and it actually has not, been an issue I, I do have sometimes issues on offers that's kind of rare and auctions which is unfortunately not very rare at all next up it's a shed question uh matthew anderson thinking about building a shed similar to yours and was just wondering about what size your shed is and if you bought it prefab or did you build it yourself uh actually i bought it prefab they built it in Mississippi and put it on the back of a truck and brought it here. And uh, I actually have a video where I show uh, exactly how like they put it in and stuff. And it was pre-built, like the exterior was all finished and painted and everything, roof and all that, of course. But inside of here, it was bare studs. So I insulated and put up, put up these walls. This stuff, this is like super thin uh, wall board here, really cheap. I think it was like, this is like 10 or $11 a sheet, this stuff. And uh, I did all the electrical myself and yeah, that's it. I mean, it had the window, I put the air conditioner in back there. I have a bunch of videos from that time frame. I'll, I'll link the video where I first get the shed though down below and maybe a few of those other videos. Um, but the shed itself was 6,500. By the time I was all said and done, um, probably close to about $10,000 that I put into this. Oh, I didn't answer your question. Uh, it's 12 foot wide, but that's exterior dimensions, and it's 30 foot long. So it's 12 by 30. If I had it to do over again, I probably would have got the 12 by 36. Yeah, I'm going to try out wide angle now. <laughs> uh, next up, Sway FPS. Are you enjoying selling those bulk purchases sales over the yard sale finds? I'd imagine it's easier not having to go out to sales all the time. Yeah, it is a lot easier selling this stuff, and it's more profitable, I'd say, overall. Uh, however, the only, other, the only thing is it's not near as much fun because I like going out to garage sales. I like shopping and stuff like that's the best part of the job for me and it also makes youtube a little better too if i'm doing that youtube is a little more entertaining for sure especially like the what soul videos it's like makeup makeup jeans jeans hot wheels hot wheels <laughs> right but that's just the way like that's what i have right now so i can't show anything else but yeah i would 
I'd like to be doing both, honestly. But since I had all this product coming in and with all the COVID stuff going on, it's like, you know what? I'll just stay, I'll stay home. I don't need to go out. So I won't. And last, we have a worth point question from Big Betty's or Big Big Bettis. Probably Bettis or Betty's, one of the two. Uh, have you ever used the app Worth Point? I've been thinking about it, but don't really want to pay per month to use it. Just want to see if you have ever looked into it. Yes, I have Worth Point, and uh, especially on some of the rare stuff I've gotten from time to time, it's been indispensable. Uh, there are other tools you can use too. I know you can use the, uh, what's it called on eBay? I think you can look back like a year, a year of sold on eBay. It's the one that's included. Uh, Terra Peak, Terra Peak with eBay. There's a little bit of research there. I've used that a little bit, but uh, Worth Point is awesome. It goes back like 10 years. I've had a lot, like a lot of stuff where Worth Point was indispensable, like stuff that might only sell once every two years. Worth Point really helped me out a lot with. So um, I'm not going to say it's worth it for everybody because it is like 20 bucks a month. Um, so it, it, I, I can't say if it's worth it for you. Like if you're only using it once a month, it's probably not worth it. But, you know, hey, get a friend. <laughs> get a friend that has it. And or maybe a couple of people go in on it. And then when you want to know something, just search it on Worth Point And it'll pull up the page where all the results are. But it, you won't be able to see it because you're not a member. Copy that URL and send it to your friend and have them send a screenshot of the page back or something like that so that that is a possibility so uh but yeah i i love worth point i use it all the time so that's going to be it for today thank y'all very much for watching i'll see y'all again soon take care bye bye